uh, title of the video, you already know what's up. You can see garage back empty, garage back clean. About to go on the first official drive for um, the new the new kit. Um, I already drove it a couple times. I've been already been having fun with it, but uh, I've just been shaking it down, you know, making sure everything works good. And um, yeah, I'm about to go put some uh, E85 in there right now. That boy delivering in the Jetta. Respect, bro. I used to deliver, uh, I used to do DoorDash in my 240. Here's the car. Good. Looking good. Oh, actually, let's get a cold start. The just turbo back all the way to this single exit right here. It's basically just an eBay single exit. I've been dealing with that belt squeal for months now. It's just annoying. silencer because y'all see that right oh my god bro if i wasn't at home i'd be fucked painting my stock wheels to put on my uh my little cousin's honda yeah about to get his car looking right just got his car you know little 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 improvements you know make a big difference for a daily driver um, I didn't think it sounded good, like the actual exhaust. The open dumps are always going to sound the same just because they're open dumps for the waste gates. But the turbo is not loud either, like at all. But that's probably because I'm only running 3 PSI right now. The reason why I'm only running 3 PSI right now is just because um, I'm not tuned for this kit. I'm tuned for, for the rear mount kit. So um, the calibration is probably a little bit off just because the turbo is spooling a lot sooner since it's um, up closer. But I mean, in terms of like, um, like the top end, like I'm still tuned for boost on like the top end, like 5K plus, so. I have a little bit of an exhaust leak, but I'm not worried about it. So it kind of peaks at four-ish, like it touches four a little bit, but I think that's just because my waist gates are a little small. What type of bullshit, man. Not it, bro. It's not it. One of the next videos is gonna be me fixing this. I think, most likely. Yeah, you can see the intercooler doesn't get a lot of airflow, so. In the future, I'm thinking of go, uh, doing a methanol injection, doing like a meth setup. Shit. Getting the exclusive. I love to see a happy family, bro. Right now, until everything gets to operating temp, because I be seeing people uh, when that needle right there gets to the middle for the coolant temp. I just be start dogging that shit. Like, nah, bro, you gotta relatively high compression on a boosted, boosted setup. Yeah, make sure everything gets the operating temp. Don't play around with that. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna cruise right now with the windows up, just cause. Um, I mean, the sunroof is open, but I think that's negligible. Not too much louder than my uh, rear mount setup. My rear mount setup had one muffler also. Actually scratch that, no. Technically uh, my rear mount setup and the setup has two mufflers. They're just like straight through uh, glass pack mufflers. stealth mode until you hear the gates open up so now i'm gonna cruise it with the windows open hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad scratches on the fucking <laughs> the headlights little autos on scratches uh, my tires are pretty shitty on this car just uh pretty cheap
I usually don't drive dumb, but um, i trying to get some content, you know? It seems like the Muscle Boys, they don't want to play with this 3 PSI right now. <laughs> Yo, everybody a weirdo around here, I swear to God, man. That's why I don't like to come outside. The special road. Coon again. I'll get something proper going um, in the video later. I don't know if I want to start running people without my retune. Might as well just wait for that. Um, I'm not in a rush to retune it just because the car is running fine. It's a lot more simple than you think it is. It's just a lot, um, it's really time consuming and you gotta have a lot of patience and it's a lot of grinding, especially if you don't have fancy tools. You don't need fancy tools to do this stuff too either. You just gotta know what you're doing. Make sure you actually really know what you're doing. Like if someone asks you a question about the kit, you really need to be able to answer it. Cause if you can't, then you probably don't know what you're doing unless the question doesn't make sense. Um, and then just all you need really is a welder, uh, a grinder, sawzall, uh, basic hand tools, uh, extensions, maybe like swivel sockets or like the little uh, pivot. Um, what is it? The little, you know, has the little pivot. You hear that dog barking? Yeah, he knows. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He's like, he's like, stay away. <laughs> stay away. Yeah, stay away. For real. Stay away.